Oh, sorry, I screwed that. Hi, and welcome back to the show. Uh, we're joined once again by Alan Fine with the Executive Edge, and we're going to talk today about this whole idea of online social media websites kind of getting yourself out there. Alan, uh, thanks again for joining us again. Thanks, Kirsten. Great to be back again. Alan, you know, this topic of websites and social media, uh, you know, it, 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 it's, it's a point that, I mean, the media just drives it and drives it, drives it. They're talking about social media all the time. They're always talking about, go check my website out. But really, I mean, how does, it, how does this all come together for the small and medium-sized business owner? Well, you know, the stats are pretty amazing out there. I did a Calgary Herald interview uh, recently, and part of the interview process was looking up the information from StatsCan. And the information is pretty amazing still that 50% of businesses in Canada still have a website. And of those who do have a website, 50% of those have absolutely no social media program. They're not blogging and they have no social media lead generation funnel happening. That's incredible. So when you, when you think about it, uh, how are these people being found? I mean, I guess the Yellow Pages is still around, but uh, I don't know too many people are using it's, it. It's still around. Yeah, it's still around. But obviously, you know, uh, when was the last time you picked up a hard copy of the Yellow Pages yourself? Uh, the majority of people, including myself, go online now. If you're looking for a new product or service anywhere in Canada, the majority of people go on the smartphone or go on the internet and look it up on Google. And that's where people and companies need to live. So if you're a business in Canada, you absolutely need to be on the internet in 2014. So what's the first step, Alan? Uh, what, what does one do? I mean, it, it's somewhat ominous and you know, there's big price tags associated with websites uh, nowadays. I mean, you never know how much, how much it's really worth. What do you do? Well, the first thing probably is to contact a reputable internet marketing website design company like myself. Because, yeah, it can be a big price tag, but the payoff can be huge as well. I know uh, companies who are doing three or $400,000 in sales, and the majority of my clients either uh, you know, increase their sales by 50 or 100% in the first 12 months. So the first thing you need to do for having a website is probably do your keyword research. And keyword research is what are people looking on Google for when they want to find your service? And then working backwards from there, you should then call your, you know, your your website, uh, not necessarily your company name, but maybe your key phrase. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you an example of a, a company uh, that I made a website for recently. Uh, their name is AIM Telecommunications, and their website is CalgaryTelephone.ca. And when you go to the internet and look up the key phrase Calgary Telephone, we did our research and we found that the word Calgary Telephone was the most searched for key phrase for this company's industry. That's the website we chose for them. And they are on page one of Google, the very, very top. Hmm. So, so what you're saying, essentially, the fundamentals are to start with what your clients are potentially going to be looking for your leads are going to be looking for so think like the lead first and then backtrack exactly. uh, from there so it's not necessarily like having a1 plumbing on the yellow pages or aa11 plumbing as it used to be to be the first person on the pages on the yellow pages it's a completely different solution now is there actually people are searching completely for the different. terms and you want to reverse engineer everything from that point on um, exactly what would be next uh, the next is to have a company design you a really engaging website with something called responsive design. And responsive design is a brand new buzzword that came into uh, the uh, scene on 2013. And it means is can your website show up nicely on the internet or a tablet or a smartphone? And you want to make sure you have all those three different types of um, uh, sizes covered so when people are searching for you especially on tablets and smartphones a lot of searches are being done on smartphones nowadays you need to have a mobile version of your website hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, because uh, I mean, I, what were the statistics like? Uh, in some cases, depending on the industry, I mean, it can be forty percent of the uh, of the people online are looking with their website uh, with their mobile devices. Um, their iPhone or their BlackBerry or their their Android. Definitely. You know, it's it's actually kind of interesting, Alan. I, I I actually I was I was interviewing someone in the uh, in the oil and gas industry, and they were working downtown, and they couldn't punch through the firewalls. Uh, in, in in industries, and the reason was that their 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 information delivery was being blocked by the firewalls, and it was not viewable on mobile devices. And when they started looking at the analytics, they were finding out that people were actually trying to look through their through their mobile phones on the three G network to see the information they sent to them. They couldn't because it didn't have exactly. it wasn't getting through. So yeah, very yeah. very important, very important. It's very important that that companies update their information, get on board with a program because guess what? If you're not online and doing all these things you just mentioned, your competitors are stealing your leads because they are. There are companies out there that are spending big bucks on this and you need to at least spend some money and make sure you're doing it properly yourself as well. So Alan, what about social media? Um, you know, people burn a lot of time on social media, uh, creating uh, dialogue with people, and, and you know, a lot of people are on there just just for fun. H how do you actually engage that? And what's the point of having a business site on uh, a social media network like Facebook or, or I, I guess, uh, to a certain extent, Google Plus, and then there's also LinkedIn. How does that all come together? Oh, it's so important nowadays. People are spending more and more time on social media all the time and I would say for businesses the big players in 2014 are going to be LinkedIn and Google Plus and especially something called Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts is the answer from Google to Facebook and as it gets more and more popular they're going to be doing some pretty amazing things in Google with Hangouts so you need to be on your Google uh, Plus page and learn all about Hangouts and then as far as LinkedIn goes you know unlike Facebook where here's a funny picture of my dog doing a funny trick LinkedIn is all about business and with LinkedIn actually you can create an amazing lead generation funnel and even use your smartphone to have people search for you uh, on your profile in fact I did a blog about it on my website that talks about a special LinkedIn membership that LinkedIn doesn't offer anymore but I found out the URL, if you're logged into LinkedIn, you can click on my blog and click on this link for a membership that will save you probably about $200 off a regular membership that will let you see on your profile who has viewed your profile and all their information. Hmm. And for me and telling my clients, if someone's on your profile, they're probably a warm lead. You want to contact them. You want to hit them right away. Well, it's interesting. Exactly. Uh, it's interesting because um, uh, the strategy of adding people to LinkedIn when you first engage with them, it's another touch point. It's another way of communicating with them uh, through through the sales process, obviously. And, exactly. Uh, and, it's and, part of your marketing yeah, funnel. And, uh, and, and I've, I've heard a lot of good things about when you reach out to people on LinkedIn and people actually do respond. It's not like you're just noise out there. Um, what about Facebook? Exactly. What about Facebook, Alan? What's your take on that? Uh, yeah, Facebook's also very, very important to have a, a nicely uh, put together Facebook Facebook business page. And you know, people are always worried about, oh, I don't want people seeing what I'm doing on Facebook for my business. Well, you know, the, the people can have two different entities on Facebook, a Facebook business page, which is properly formatted, where they can do all their business stuff on Facebook, and also their own personal private profile. But I tell my clients, remember this, what you post on Facebook is there forever. <laughs> so be careful, you probably have heard this beforehand, watch what you post on Facebook. If you're, especially if you're young, if you're posting crazy wild parties, uh, or pictures of yourself doing some pretty outrageous things, Eventually, an employer can look on your Facebook profile or get access to it. Or what companies are actually doing nowadays is allow asking you, you know, to make you a friend on Facebook, so they can look at your profile and they can see what you've been doing. So be very, very careful. Once it's on social media, it's there forever. Hmm. So watch out what you're posting there. Absolutely. Well, Alan, it's it's great uh, great having the depth of knowledge that you're offering here. And, and obviously, uh, you're offering a managed solution for clients uh, who are looking for uh, that social media mix as well as the website. Um, we offer a total package. In fact, we're having a, uh, a, a webinar happening on January, 20, uh, January 2nd and 3rd 
that people who are Calgary business owners and business owners all over Canada can join. It's going to be five hours of in-depth internet marketing and social media training for a phenomenal price. So they should go to my website and check it out. Mm, good stuff. Well, we, once again, Alan, thanks for joining us. It's great to, to enlighten our audience on uh, all of these, uh, you know, all of these new latest trends that are happening as far as internet marketing. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Christian. Have a great day. Great. We've been speaking with Alan Fine. Uh, you can check him out at the executive, or is it executiveedge1.com, right? Executive yes, Edge one and that's the number one dot com. So check out his website and uh, stay tuned for our next show with Alan. We'll have him back real soon. Take care, everyone. And you'll uh, for, see, uh, uh, just uh, here, I'll put, it, I'll put it in here again. Whoops, nope, that's not Watch it. live now, you mean? Hold on. I'll put it in the, uh, in the, there, I just posted it again. That is, uh, that's the live stream, and you can uh, PVR it back. Okay, I see it, I see it, yeah, 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 yeah. So you can just watch what we, immediately what we did just now, so, and review it. And awesome, whatever. man. And then I'll send you, uh, I'll send the information for, for downloads later. I'll follow Perfect, up with you. Perfect, buddy. Okay, thanks, Alan. And actually, I have a lot of clients who I told talked about. <laughs> That's I great. Well, about, I mean, this is about, this is about being interviewed. I man. love I love this because I get to know people. It's just, there's what a great way to knock on doors is just to you, exactly. you knock on doors and you say, hey, I'd like to interview you on a show. Um, you know, you can check it out afterwards. Yada yada. It's great. It opens doors and it's wonderful. And uh, no, everyone wins, right? So uh, yeah. So Alan, thanks for thanks for joining us, and we'll uh, we'll we'll meet again sometime no real soon. We should, uh, Have a coffee. We should talk uh, this coming week. Yeah, talk. I wouldn't mind actually maybe even putting you on my website about this okay. and, and using that as um, part of my lead generation. Funnel. Sure. Well, it's all about it's all about helping each other out. Alan, have a exactly. great day, and uh, I'll All be right. in touch. All right, okay, bye, -bye. bye now. Alan Fine. Okay, so now.